Hermovalent reflex is a reflex pulmonary was a constriction in response to increase in left atrial pressure that occurs, for example, in mitral stenosis. Ketaev reflex is a reflex pulmonary was a constriction as a compensating mechanism of mitral disease. So basically, they describe the same compensatory response, and Hermovalent reflex is just an extension of Ketaev reflex that emphasize that exactly left atrial distension triggers this compensatory response. To explain the mechanism of this reflex, let's take mitral stenosis. Its heart, its left ventricle, its left atrium, and its pulmonary circulation. Mitral stenosis causes decrease in radius of mitral valve, and flow through mitral valve is equal to left atrial pressure minus left ventricular pressure divided on mitral valve resistance and resistance is inversely proportional to the force power of radius. So with decrease in radius, resistance of mitral valve increase, and with increase in resistance of mitral valve, flow through mitral valve decrease and blood begin to accumulate in left atrium. At some point of blood accumulation, blood over distends left atrium, because it creates very high hydrostatic pressure on left atrial walls. And this high pressure inside left atrium is transmitted backwards to pulmonary circulation. And pulmonary circulation consists of pulmonary arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules and veins that deliver blood to left atrium. And when pressure inside left atrium increases, this increased pressure is transmitted backwards to veins and then to venules, and at some point it causes increase in capillary hydrostatic pressure. To explain how increased pressure is transmitted backwards, let's take capillaries. Flow from capillaries to venules is equal to hydrostatic pressure in capillaries minus hydrostatic pressure in venules divided on resistance. And because pressure inside venules increase, it decreases outflow from capillaries. But the problem is that inflow to capillaries initially remains the same and is equal to pressure in arterial minus pressure in capillary divided on resistance. And if initially hydrostatic pressure inside the capillary was small, now because inflow to capillaries become greater than outflow, fluid begins to accumulate in capillaries. And this increase in amount of fluid in capillaries creates high hydrostatic pressure inside them that begin to distend capillary walls. And why increase in pulmonary capillary hydrostatic pressure is so dangerous? First of all, pulmonary circulation is a low-pressure system, and in normal state, pulmonary capillary pressure is approximately 5 to 10, and because of that, even a small increase in hydrostatic pressure in pulmonary circulation can cause a dramatic pathological effect. The first problem of increased capillary hydrostatic pressure is that from Starling equation that describes filtration rate, Hydrostatic pressure in capillaries is the predominant force that pushes fluid out of the pulmonary circulation to interstitium. In our case, it's pulmonary tissue. And because filtration from capillaries to interstitium equal to hydrostatic pressure inside the capillaries minus hydrostatic pressure in interstitium, with increase in pulmonary capillary hydrostatic pressure, filtration rate increase. So amount of fluid that is going out of the capillary to interstitium increase and it results in pulmonary edema. Also, the possibility is that very high hydrostatic pressure can cause rupture of capillaries due to the increase in wall tension. Tension on capillary wall is equal to pressure inside the capillary on radius of the capillary. So, if capillary hydrostatic pressure dramatically increases, it causes dramatic increase in capillary wall tension that at some point can cause rupture of the capillary. But important, the rupture of the capillary wall is a very rare complication, due to one simple reason. Capillaries have very small size, and because of that, they have very small radius. And from formula we see is that increase in hydrostatic pressure that causes increase in wall tension, in case of capillaries, is partially compensated by small radius. And because of that, capillaries can withstand very high hydrostatic pressure. To prevent these dangerous complications, in response to stretch of left atrium, pulmonary blood vessels constrict. The logic of this compensatory response is that to decrease hydrostatic pressure in capillaries, pulmonary blood vessels must to decrease inflow to capillaries. And in order to decrease inflow, blood vessels constrict, with the most pronounced constriction in arterioles and arteries. For example, if we take flow from arterioles to capillaries, Flow is equal to pressure in arterioles minus pressure in capillaries divided on resistance. 
and the resistance is inversely proportional to the force power of radius. So with vasoconstriction of arterioles, their radius decreases, thereby their resistance increases and flow to capillaries decreases. And this decrease in inflow to capillaries, the difference between inflow and outflow decreases. This causes decrease in amount of blood in capillaries, thereby it decreases hydrostatic pressure of blood inside them, and by this it prevents potentially dangerous complications. So hermovalar reflex is a compensatory vasoconstriction of pulmonary blood vessels in response to distension of left atrium that is caused by pathological elevation of left atrial pressure that subsequently causes pathological elevation in capillary hydrostatic pressure that lead to dangerous complications. And the vasoconstriction of pulmonary vessels decreases pulmonary hydrostatic pressure and thereby it prevents these potentially dangerous complications.